Namaste to all you cosmic souls and welcome to your guidance for today. We are going to be doing a general reading today to tap into the energies of everything that you are feeling, everything that uh, you are moving through, everything that is happening around you and how it is affecting you in what way and what you can do about it. So we are... Um, I feel like this is going to be an intense reading today, so just take a few deep breaths while we um, start picking the cards for you and allow the energies to flow as they come. So I can already see that you're moving through something with regards to power, regaining your power as you allow your magic to flow you allow your emotions to flow you allow your okay so you have a choice you have some and we have the muse of inspiration you have a choice right it creates a certain balance within you this choice so the choice is very very dependent on how you are feeling at this time and this choice is going to impact a lot of other decisions that you are going to make within your life with the chariot in the usual rider weight deck we see one person holding on to two different horses right here i see that your choice is to bring a balance within both the choices that you have and maybe that is what is creating the imbalance within you right now but as you continue to move forward and really just breathe through it. You will start to understand why you're trying to find that balance within these two choices. Maybe there is a way of doing things that you didn't even think about. That was not even in your attention that you were not even aware of. So, where do we move from here? What is this choice about? <laughs> okay. It is a unique balance between both the choices and it could also be something that activates your inner extension process as in you and your higher self are really bringing together all the information that you have received and bringing it towards the earth's surface to ground it. So again, what I'm seeing in the Six of Inspiration is both the choices that you have, you need to find that in-between balance between both these choices. And that is what you need to find. And only you have the answer to that. The answer to that is inside of you. The answer to that is in your solar plexus. The answer to that is in your gut feeling. If you have been feeling like you haven't, you're not able to eat or you're feeling dizzy and lightheaded. These two chakras are being activated in a certain way. As you uplift your energies and create balance within the other spaces, the other chakras, you will start seeing that your solar plexus and your crown chakra are more, <clears throat> they have a more stabilized foundation. 
they need a more stabilized foundation so that is why you are being asked to stabilize all the parts of your body rather than just focus on one part for example if you are going to a to work out right on different days you work on different parts of the body but you work on all parts of the body you're not doing leg day every day you're not doing uh, chest and shoulders every day you're alternating it right why so that when one feels a bit weaker the rest of the muscles around it are there to support it right so that is what you are being guided to do you are being guided or asked to balance all of your chakras when i say chakras you can just understand it in terms of the body just keep your body healthy your mind healthy your spiritual state healthy in whatever way works best for you so that whenever there is an imbalance in any of the parts of the body you still have that grounding there is some kind of an emotional turmoil a lot of confusion um because of this choice that you have to make um it's like a whole different space you're you just lived a whole different world when you felt these emotions and there was just so much depth within these emotions and while you're trying to flow you feel that the stillness is the only thing that is going to help this flow so how do you flow with stillness is to sit in stillness is to be with this stillness is to create awareness within yourself to first sit with yourself and see what is it that you need to do what is it that you want to do find the light inside you before you're able to share that light with others be discreet about it sit with it for a bit breathe with it for a bit understand it for a bit and once you feel more aware about this once you feel like yes this is a possibility then you can move into the next phase of understanding whatever that is for you right because the next phase of understanding we have the two of inspiration which is the two of wands okay so here what we have is your next phase of understanding you are moving to see what's next and while you are able to see one part of what's next only understanding what choice you want to make or finding that balance in between both the choices will help you get there so your only stillness will help you with where you need to go so find the stillness within yourself first i also feel like there is okay i want to know what this imbalance is first and then we'll uh, move to the other cards because let's just gain some more clarity we have two cards popping out i want one um we can use two of course but i'm looking for one main clarity card okay Well I guess two cards popped out anyway. So we have the world, cosmos and the six of emotions as well. There's something that you're not seeing clearly. Uh more 
internal this is more internal than external because you are receiving a lot of messages right now you are receiving all the guidance that you need and you need the steps that you need to take and that is what you're not able to see or feel correct so this will only come with time in the 3d because in 5d in the energy world there is no time time does not exist so the energy is just moving and processing as it does and you are just patiently moving with that energy and seeing where it takes you so that is probably the best way to understand what you are feeling here because this again is talking about your solar plexus chakra i also feel like a lot of oh traveling oh traveling yes okay so maybe for some of you there could be traveling in the card sightseeing of some kind uh, moving to a new place you know because we do have the world we do have the telescope that you're looking into to find where you need to go next what is for you and within the six of emotions again we have your inner child your inner self your higher self wanting to travel wanting to move so that you can connect with your higher self and this traveling might actually help you reach there now within the muse of inspiration Egypt for one or maybe many of you Egypt maybe a maybe you feel a strong connection towards Egypt the full moon connecting with fire and earth okay you are moving through an extension phase and that is one of the main reasons that you are feeling all that you are feeling right now this is the bumblebee jasper connects to your grounding your sensual sexual and creative self and also your eating habits now what i am able to see is that your energy centers especially your palm is directly connected to your solar plexus at this time as well as your third eye chakra using those to guide you how does your stomach feel when you are at a certain place does you, do you feel nervous or do you feel like you're able to walk freely and be yourself notice that second thing notice how your mind is working is it thinking too much or is it able to think freely is it having thoughts over thoughts or is it is it having moving thoughts how do you feel in the space that you are in you are highly attuned to this energy and you will feel it when it is right when it is the right time a lot of people around you are also moving through this with you and so all of you may feel it quite intensely because all of your energies are kind of merging together as you move through the spiritual ascension right this awakening process that you're moving through <clears throat> 
and it requires so much grounding and all of this grounding is coming from your internal self along with the other people that you are practicing this with all of your energies are super aligned and that is why you're able to connect on a completely different frequency at this time you're able to connect with each other on so many new levels you're able to see each other in a completely different light and this can say a lot about the space that you are about to move into now what is this space or where is this space what is this about actually what is this about it's about release egypt 100% for at least one or some people out here something with respect to egypt is coming through and there is an awakening that's happening or an, a highly awakened soul is speaking to you is connecting with you on many many levels this could obviously be talking about you because we have been speaking about you but if you are um thinking of someone else while watching this this could also mean them i don't know i was called to say that so maybe for some of you that could be the case as well okay so it is to free yourself from all energies flow with whatever is coming to you and if you feel the need to say something it is important for you to communicate that clearly is there anything else that we need to hear now today remember that this is a timeless reading and whenever this reading finds you or you find it it has an aligned frequency with where you are right now and you may connect with it in different ways at a different time so take what resonates leave out the rest you have everything that you need around you remember that you are your priority remember that you have to put in the work to see things come into fruition okay you have a highly you have a lot of manifestation power you are able to manifest anything that you want into reality right and again your solar plexus is activated during this time for some this could be with respect to a significant other where maybe there are quarrels maybe there's some confusion some convulsion some kind of conflict uh, where maybe misunderstandings for some of you as well and you're not able to see things clearly um i feel like more of this is about holding on to something so tightly that you know it's like you're holding on so tightly because you're scared that it's going to go away and that is the only reason that it moves away so release and let go so that you let the energies of the other person flow freely as well because as much as you want to flow freely this other person wants to flow freely too and only when you both are able to flow freely simultaneously will you be able to release expand and really understand each other you both have to 
uh, find that unique balance within your cells and within each other, right? Because otherwise what is happening is the holding on is happening and uh, the other person may feel suffocated without even knowing that they're feeling suffocated, which is why they're treading steps backward, taking steps back because they're unsure of where this is going or why they want to um, move away from this certain situation that you are in. So just practice release so that you're able to really enjoy whatever this is. There you go. A relationship grows closer as two people fall in love or a current relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging to you. There is still hope. Okay, And this has come for the people who are looking at this with respect to another person because we did receive the five of wands. And for the rest of us, what is it that you need to hear or not? You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it is the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. So look inside. The emotional waters that are happening require stillness. Only when there is stillness, you're able to understand the flow that is actually happening. So dive in to yourself a little deeper and deeper and see what it is that the universe is trying to say to you at this time. Is there anything else here and now? The present moment is where it is time. Okay. So whatever has to happen has to happen right now. So it is time to make that decision that you have been waiting to make. The choice, the balance in between. Finding that in between balance is to be done now moving towards a more internal state to find your guidance if you'd like a deeper guidance a deeper understanding of the space that you are in you can always book a reading with me at the cosmic circle dot life you will find all the details in the description box down below you can also follow me on Instagram for daily Instagram uh, posts on your guidance for the day at Meraki Healers. Is there anything else that the angels want to crop up and say to us today? Don't be too sad about this as you continue to think. Thoughts will flow. Thoughts will be there. Allow the thoughts to flow. Let them be there. That's okay. That's totally fine. But don't get lost in thought because then your inner self is losing its chance to show itself to you. Who are you is inside you. And it is for you to find that person today. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing your energy with me today. Sending you so much love and so much light as always. Namaste.